Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So some of you, if you're a super OG, might remember me doing a GM marathon. I don't even remember which game it was. It could have been like NHL 13, 14, something like that. I don't even think those videos are still on my channel. But as a see you later to NHL 22, I think there will be a video going up after this one still. Depends on when I schedule this, but this one's being recorded after everything because as you guys may or may not know, I did a big bulk recording of NHL 22 to take a break before 23, but here we are. So for the premise of today's video, Arizona is being relocated to Saskatchewan and somehow the NHL has agreed that if they get rid of every player that is 83 overall or better, which I think is like maybe four, and by get rid of, I mean put them in free agency, then they get to open two, maybe three, we'll see how the first two go, Tim Hortons hockey card packs, and steal those players from other teams. Bit of a weird one, yes, I will agree. But hey, I don't make the rules, okay? So as you can see, we've got three of these packs here. Let's go ahead and open the first two and see what happens. Are they gonna be easier to open? Hopefully, because I struggle with these. I think I kind of found a trick. There's like a little piece there that you can grip onto, but oh wait, okay, this is gonna be the back. We wanna start at the back, and that way we can, I'm still struggling, still doing it. There we go. Oh, we get John Carlson, and there's still a piece of pack. So John Carlson will be joining our team, the poor Washington Capitals, and we also get, oh my word, Nate Mack, one of the red round corner, and we get John Tavares. Okay, that is a hot start. Arizona looking good. Wait, I mean Saskatchewan. It's sort of like a league balancing, if you will, but all right, here we go. I think I'm only gonna do two packs because of the fact that, you know, we already got three complete studs in the other one. And I can't even see who this is right now, but now I do. It's Brady Kachuk. I kind of feel bad for Ottawa because that is going to sting, but sucks to suck. After Brady, we have ourselves, oops, a Marcus Shifley. That's going to dig deep into Winnipeg as well. Sorry about that. And our last member will... Okay. So in summary, Clayton Keller, Schmaltz, Gostas Bear, and... Chitrin? Chikrin? Going to free agency, but the new Saskatchewan, I don't know what their team name is yet, haven't even created the team, currently sitting on the create team screen, uh, they're going to get Nate Mack from Colorado, they are going to get John Tavares from the Toronto Maple Leafs, they're going to get John Carlson from the Washington Capitals, Marcus Shifley, and they will be obtaining Brady Kachuk. All right, that's it for the face cam. And let's get into it. The Abbotsford. I, I, I was about to say ice. I don't know where I even got that from, but wow, we're off to a great start. Not gonna lie, I kind of like these jersey colors. This logo gives me Saskatchewan vibes. It just does. So we're gonna go with that. I don't know what I'm gonna name the team yet, though. Well, I have an idea. I don't know how much it really fits the logo, but we're gonna go with the Saskatchewan Rebels, just because why not? This video likely won't be as edited as some of my other ones, so... Yeah, just a pre-warning there. In honor of the fact that I was finally able to get my hands on a Prime, which by the way, I was very surprised with how good it was. I was expecting a bunch of YouTubers to just be yes men and kind of saying that it was amazing, even if it wasn't. No, it's actually really good. I enjoyed it a lot. And they are gonna sponsor the Saskatchewan Rebels, well, arena, I guess, not really the team, but I've only had the blue one so far, but it slapped. So I can't really speak for the other ones, but yeah, the one that I have had, very nice. Some of these fonts look very cool here, like this one, and then you put it on the jersey, and it just doesn't fit. I don't know. I mean, the only time we'll be seeing our jersey anyway is if we make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, and there is absolutely no promise of that happening. I am a franchise mode noob, to put it quite bluntly. The only thing I'm gonna change is the color of the font on the arm. How do you get to the team colors again? I think you go here, and then you go current team colors. It's very confusing. I don't know why it's that intense, but c'est la vie. Obviously, everybody has a different taste in jerseys, but to me, this looks beautiful. I mean, something about it does feel kind of off, but at the same time, it's like a good off. Should I bother with the arena? It's not really important. This just in, apparently I do care because here we are. To be fair, this guy kind of looks more like a rebel than our logo. So maybe it fits, and that will be his name. Okay, time to build our roster. Let's do it. So these are the packed players. Now it is time to add the rest of Arizona, and we will be skipping on a few. For example, wait, wrong team. We'll be skipping on Jacob, Clayton, Nick, 
Shane, and Lawson just barely makes the cut. 16 forwards, 6 defense, 2 goalies, and we have $1.8 million of cap space. So we are actually cap compliant. 85 overall, that's not bad. It's not good, but... It's not bad. Here we go. So Chitrin will be a free agent. Same with, yeah, all you. You guys are headed out. This cannot be completed because, oh, yeah. All right. Well, then if that's the case, then I will just send over a few players. Problem solved. Hey, yo, wait a second. How do you get zero overall? I have never seen that before. Well, there's your trade, Arizona. Go ahead and wait. No, really? All right. We should finally be good. Nice. Now to make sure those other players are not duplicated, I will send them to the International League. So, Washington, we need to get rid of John Carlson. Congrats, you now play for Austria. Same with you, Marcus Scheifele. We should be ready to rumble. Let's do this. Substitute Arizona, and we will be putting in a custom team that is Saskatchewan. We are the same overall as the Montreal Canadiens. One overall better than the Sabres. I think I'm going to leave player morale on this time. CPU trades, yeah, go for it. GM firing. No? Wait, yeah, because we don't even have owner mode on, so never mind. All right, let's continue. Obviously, I want morale meetings off because those are treacherous. And waiver slash trade offer, stars only. Yes, please. I don't care if another coach gets fired, really. Gonna be honest. I still remember way back in the day, I called the Roadrunners the Tuxen Roadrunners, and I got destroyed. I mean, if you've never heard that before, who's gonna look at that word and be like, ah, yeah, that's Tucson. Let's just make sure that Nate Mac is in fact gone. And yes, he is. All right, we are set. They have Lawson playing here. Oh, because they have Barrett Hayton. He's 21, listed as a fourth line forward. He's a third line. I think I am gonna make that move. Oh, yeah, that gets me a plus one. So I'll do that. We have Shifley, McKinnon, and Kachuk. So that is a very good first line, plus two. We then have Lawson, Tavares, and Boyd. Chason playing with Bjugstad and Hayton. Roussel playing with Carconi and Yaskin. Defensively, we got Patrick and John as our top pair. They get a zero. What if I move... Oh, Troy is right-handed. We have too many right-handed defensemen. They are all right-handed. The only left-handed defenseman is Namath. That is unbelievable. Definitely noteworthy when it comes to trading. In net, we've got John Gillies and Karel Vejmelka. Could be butchering that pronunciation. In fact, I probably am. So from now on, he shall be known as Karel. That's our team going into year one. Let's make it happen. I have absolutely no idea how many seasons we're going to do, and I just realized, crap, I actually have to care about my scouts as well, as the AHL team. Fisher, Richie, and Cassian are all scratched, so I will send them down. Honestly, if any of them get claimed, I'm not gonna be upset about it. Our AHL team's actually not bad. Okay, yeah, we could be a weapon. This man's has an ability. He's 76 overall, medium top four. I like that. Two young goalies as well, 22 and 23, both 75 overall. We got medium backup and medium fringe starter. Actually, our scouts aren't that bad. They're set up decently. This isn't going to be a full-on GM mode anyway, because, you know, it is just a one-and-done sort of deal. So I'm not going to take it that seriously. It's just nice to have it set up. The Roadrunners are already 5-1-0, and, oh, and Jay Beagle lighting the lamp. Certainly not the best start here from Saskatchewan. If there's a goalie available at the trade deadline, and we're doing okay, I might consider it. Otherwise, I may just wait for free agency. Plus, we also need left-handed defensemen, so if we could somehow make that work, then I'm here for it. I'm not gonna tank on purpose, I should say. 8-2-W over the shifley -less Winnipeg Jets, and then back-to-back 3-1-Ws. We're doing all right. We also beat Nate Mack's former team in back-to-back -back games. It's hard to say. We're in a tricky spot right now. The division isn't that spread out, so we could still make it in if we have a good post-trade deadline, but that is very rare. Can we get a 30th win? No, we cannot. We are 29-30-1, I think it was. Let's enter the trade deadline, see what we can find here. So I think our playoff hopes basically gone. He shoots right. John Klingberg, that would have been ideal. Vitek Vanacek, 85 overall. Four years left at 3.4. That is super ideal. Try to sign him up immediately. I don't want to retain. I don't know why it automatically does that. They want this guy, but I am certainly not going to be giving him up. Timmins, we could possibly give up Connor Timmins. Another right-handed defenseman. Soderstrom, also right. Oh my word. Okay, well, let's add him. The value is still not even close, but we could add some draft picks in. 
We got a bunch. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try Philly's second. Actually, no, not Philly because I, well, they could be simming all right, actually. Hmm. Let's go with Vancouver's second because it has the least value and Timmons for Vitek Vanacek. They reject it. Okay. I'll try with the Islanders second, which has more value and it's still too far off. Wow. All right. What about the lowest value second and a fourth proposed trade? Really? Okay, they are really not budging on this guy. A second and a third? Now I kind of feel like we're getting finessed. And they're still rejecting it! We have far too many draft picks, if I'm gonna be honest, so I'm gonna try this. If this doesn't go through, you know what? No, I'm not giving up Timmons then. If this is the case, I am not giving up Timmons. We'll go back, and we'll give up Troy Stetcher. How about that? There you go. Alright, if, if they say no to this, then I'm out. We'll wait till free agency, and they still reject- Is this sufficient at all, yo? Chill! Oh wow! We just got a trade request. John Klingberg for two firsts. That is tempting, but also, no. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do it. He could play with John Carlson, but no, no, I'm gonna reject it. What about Vili Huso? Four years left at 4.7. That might be a little bit easier to get. And stop doing the auto retention. What is going on? Timmons and a second. The value seems to be relatively fair. They will accept it, so let me try a worse second. Let's go with the lowest value second in Vancouver. Propose that. Now, it is not gonna go through. We'll bump it up to the Flyers second. Trade rejected. The Rebels second? This seems more fair. That will. All right, let's go ahead and make that happen. Cam Fowler, he's got three abilities. This contract takes him till he's 35. He is a left-handed defenseman, though. Dmitry Kulikov, 80 overall, is the next best left-handed defenseman. You know what? I'm just gonna get out of here. We got a goalie upgrade in Vili Husso, 85 overall. We still have our first line there with Kachuk up at 88. McKinnon, 95. Shifley, 90. And defensively, we got John Carlson. I don't think this has Nate Mack's new contract, which is probably why we are within the cap, but... I'm gonna have to sign him after this season, which is gonna be rough. I'm just gonna finish up the season, whatever happens, happens, and then we will check out free agency, try to sign some of our players, hopefully have a good draft, considering we have about 30 million picks. Not a great first year for the Rebels, but could have been worse. The Oilers are your year one Stanley Cup champions. So by the looks of it, we get the sixth pick and the seventh. Jumbo Joe at 36 overall called it quits. Yeah, fair enough. Not gonna lie, didn't do interviews or anything. This is just an absolute disaster of a franchise mode, and that's okay. That's what this is all about. It's just for fun. We have Slavkovsky here, and Shane Wright as well. So, a high and medium elite. It looks like we'll be getting two good players no matter what. So, I'm okay with the 6th and 7th, because we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so... I feel like we're almost guaranteed to get two medium elite players. Sim to pick six, and we've got a very deep draft here. We'll go ahead and make our first selection, and I am probably going to pick up Matt. He is a centerman. He's a gem, which is good. I just don't know if my next pick is, well, we don't need two centermen. But this guy, oh wait, yeah, he's not guaranteed to be medium elite. So maybe we will take two centermen, and then we could always just trade one away if we had to. Or... Or, crazy thought, play one on the wing. Yeah, who would have thought of that? I will start with Matt, who we know is going to be good. Yep, medium elite, 78 overall. And then I will take... Should I take Gustavs or should I take Brad? Two-way forward or playmaker? That is the question. He's got an X-Factor for sure. And, oh, he does not. Okay, so we're going with Gustavs. Welcome to the team. 79 overall, X-Factor, three abilities... Ready to rumble. Oh, he's a sniper. Whoops. What player type is Matt? Playmaker. Okay. Very nice. This guy's supposed to slip far. Wow. Okay. We also have a guaranteed medium elite goalie. So I do want to take these guys, but there's no point of taking them now because they aren't going till about 100 something. So I will risk it for the biscuit with Sergey. Make selection. He ends up being a medium top four two-way defender. You know what? I just don't want to risk it. I'm not gonna... Well... Yeah, let's just go for the players anyway. We know they're going to be good, so we might as well. Medium elite. He's only 51 overall, though. And I'll take Danny simply for the fact that he is medium elite. So, if anything, it's got trade value. 49 overall. Ooh. Hunter is recommended to us. He's supposed to go 55. Four years NHL ready. Yeah. I guess we will go ahead and take Hunter. Will it pay off? 
Medium top six, 61 overall, that's not bad. Frazier Minton. I doubt he's gonna be good, but I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit anyway. Let's see, another centerman. Medium top six, 60 overall. See, this is the problem. I always get bored and just start making random picks like this. Toby, why not go ahead and select you as another goalie. Medium fringe starter, 59 overall. Honestly, I am just gonna sim the rest of the draft. I can't be bothered. Too many picks. Nate went up to a 96 overall, the one overall bump. He's at 88 points this season. We got 86 from Shifley, who's at a 91. Kachuk is at 90 now. He put up 70 points. Tavares put up 58, but was a dash 16. Carlson at 55, was a dash 12. Boyd at 34, so it's a big drop. Dash 19. Billy Huso did okay. I don't know how he did specifically for our team. We could check that, I think. Yeah, he went 6, 8, and 2 with a 902, 299. Okay, not spectacular. And now we have to re sign some players like Barrett Hayton. I'm gonna sign him for three years at 2.3. I think that's fair. McKinnon doesn't run out till next year, so that's good to know. John Tavares at 11 million. Yo, we gotta get rid of that. I think I'm gonna let Strawman walk. The three and a half green star legend. I remember this guy. We have $13 million of cap space which should be enough to sign Nate Mack, but I still want to try getting rid of Tavares before his overall drops off too much. I'm not sure why Devin Taves' trade value is so low. He's a left-handed defenseman with two abilities, 87 overall. He's only 28, and John Tavares making 11 for the next three years. This might go through one for one, proposed trade, just a bit low. Okay, so yeah, we could probably make this work. Added in a sixth round pick, and oh. Okay, well that sucks. Will you still be penny pinching if I move it up to a fourth? Yeah. OEL doesn't have the most phenomenal contract in the world, but I still think it's worth it. We're pretty much cutting it in half. Proposed trade, and they say no thank you. Still think it won't even be close, but I made it a third. No. Ekholm's contract takes him till he's 36. He's got three abilities, 85 overall. The value seems to only be fair, which is crazy. The second's probably too much, never mind. They did it. We now have $18 million of cap space. Here's Schmaltz. He's been released to free agency. Gostas Bear is here as well. Holtby wants basically nothing. To be a backup goalie at 83 overall, I am going to sign him up. I'm not going to give him too much, but he will hopefully accept that. And I think on that note, I'm going to sim to next year. All right, cool. We got finessed by Detroit. Of course. Of course he doesn't. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, congrats, Moser. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna say that it's Moser. You're playing on line number one with John Carlson. Soderstrom will be playing with Ekholm, and then we've got Namath with Troy Stetcher, which is a plus three. We also finally have the correct handedness for defensemen. Offensively, they're just throwing this guy right in the fire. He's second line immediately at 79 overall. He's gonna skyrocket. I'm gonna try to get Nate Max contract going right now. He's playing with Barrett Hayton and Brady. In net, we got Vili at 85 still, and Carell now at 80 overall. Our AHL team looks solid again, so that is another positive. Honestly, John, Sorry, bud, but I'm putting in the goalie that's got potential. Will year two be better? Let's find out. We're not looking phenomenal, and I just remembered, wanted to try getting Nate Mack's contract signed. I don't know why I just paused mid-sentence. I'm also not sure why John Carlson is leading the team, but we're gonna ignore that for now. I'm scared. Offer contract extension? Okay, that's not so bad. That is not so bad. He does want an extension. I'm gonna try 9.6 for the seven years that he wants, hopefully, he says, yup. And he did. I'm trying to think what on our team sucks. I know that Vili Huso has simulated very poorly for me in the past. So maybe we should look at getting another goalie. I'm not sure. But right now, we reek. We are not a solid team. I would pick up Andreas, but the fact that he has one year left is scary to me because he's definitely going to want a lot more than 3 million. We could pick up some grit in Tom Wilson. We have a lot of top six prospects. So Hunter, I know we just signed you, but... I'm gonna try sending you to Washington with a third and a fourth for Tom Wilson, and they accept it. That's all I'm gonna do for this trade deadline, so we will go ahead, exit, and maybe we'll be able to sign some free agents, but I'm kind of just hoping to sit on our team and have the, the growth happen. Gustavs is only at 80 overall. He's only gone up one, which is kind of scary. Yeah, Vili Huso is not playing so hot. He has an 896. And a 346 JA. Oh boy. Yeah, we need a new goalie. But maybe goaltending isn't the issue. I mean, Carell's also doing horrendous. We're just bad elsewhere. Maybe our defense aren't getting it done. Okay. We are on a bit of a winning streak here. And then we get slapped in the face by Florida. 
Saw that coming. The Winnipeg Jets go on to win the Stanley Cup in year two after having Shifley finessed. And we have the first overall pick. I didn't tank on purpose, but here we are. No way. Matvey Michkov or Connor Bedard. And he is high franchise versus medium. What a good year to get the first pick. Let's go, Connor. He's also 88 overall already. That is wild. Guaranteed medium top six here in Rick. That is a cool name, Rick Paco. What a absolutely legendary name. We'll go ahead and take him. Oh, he has an ability as well. Didn't see that coming. Obviously, we're going to give Bedard a contract. It would be outrageous not to. Savoie is also going to be on the roster this year. He's 83 overall. If we aren't good this year, something's up. I also feel like our head coach could be an issue. So, yeah, I'm going to do like a whole new coaching staff here. LeBlond is an A-. And on top of that, he is a 65 in terms of team fit. That is prime. I really hope he says yes. That will give our team a big boost. Pasta's a free agent? Holy. I'm actually tempted to go after Tristan Jari. He's 28. He wants 6 million, which is quite a bit, but I mean, we do have $15 million in cap space. It's going to be an issue eventually, but we got at least a couple more years to sort some stuff out. And if we get rid of Vili Huso then it's not that big of an issue. Or at least it's not much of an issue that we didn't have before. I offered him exactly what he's asking for. If he says yes, perfect. If he doesn't, so be it. I don't really like the size of your market, but okay, never mind. He still said yes. That was the associate coach though. And nice. That's the assistant coach. Where's the head coach? Let me know. Advanced A. Where is this man's? Say yes. Let's go! We also got Tristan Jari. We're gonna be sick this year. This is the year we turn it around. I don't wanna take on any cap in return. I pretty much just wanna get rid of Vili Huso. I'll try a second and third from Chicago. Proposed trade and they accept it. He's gone. Holy crap. If we aren't good this year, then we're just never gonna be good. That's it. Moser's up to an 84 overall and they get a plus two. We get a plus two here and a plus three. There is just green all over the place. Our second line's finally sick. We've got Connor Bedard up on the first line as a sniper. He's gonna be playing with power forward and playmaker, Kachuk and McKinnon respectively. And now we've got Tristan Jari and Carell. This is the this is the year. It's it. We're done. We're good. Our AHL team looks not bad again. Should be playoff bound. We do have Alexei down here, but hopefully he'll do all right. These goalies don't seem to be progressing. I don't know if I should maybe sign that medium elite goalie and bring him in. He's only 62 overall. One more year wouldn't kill him in the minors or wherever he's playing. Yeah, we'll wait one more. All right, here we go, Saskatchewan. I'm actually going to go make some toast or something because I'm very hungry. It is 12.15 and I have so far had an ice cap today. So on that note, I'll be right back. Don't tell. I thought we were going to start the season 0-2. I'm going to be very upset, but no. Holy... I was about to, I was literally just about to leave and then something popped up and it was this trade. Chris Letang for two unsigned players. I don't think I'm going to do it because we're already going to have cap problems as it is and he is currently 36. So no, but thank you for sending that because holy crap, Pittsburgh is going off, but I'm still going to decline it. Just stopping in, see how we're doing. Okay. I, I feel like we should be doing better, but... Fine. We're definitely going to have some contract issues. I tried Freckman Larson, I think, didn't I? And they said no. So I'm going to say no right now. Screw you. If this team does not make the playoffs, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. I'm not even going to the trade deadline. We're just going. We're sending it. No. Just get out of my face. Oh, Vancouver finally shipped off OEL. All right, my food has been made. We really pulled it together here. Looks like we're going to win the division, or at least we have a good shot at it. Yeah, we got this down pat. Come on. Oh, never mind. We still did it. No, we didn't. The wild one. What a joke. However, for the first time in Saskatchewan history, we made the playoffs. And we are going up against Smashville. I'm still relatively fresh off of having my wisdom teeth removed from my face, so... I still have to spray out the holes <laughs> every time I eat, and it's very, very unfortunate. Well, more so inconvenient. But we finished second in the division with 95 points. Yeah, 95 points isn't really a division winning point total, so fair enough. 10th in the league, not too shabby. Who won the President's Trophy? I didn't even look. Toronto. We didn't even have a point a game player. We got 80 points from Nate Max, 76 from Bedard, who's up to 91. Kachuk is back up to 90. Shifley is at 90. John Carlson, 93. He put up 64 points. Matthew put up 54. He's 87 overall. Oh my word. Yeah, we're going to have big time contract issues 
real quick. Even Dylan Genther's up to 83 overall. He put 36 points up. Jari did okay. 33, 25, and 5. Two shutouts, 906, 277. Carell. Look at this guy go, 920, 255, what a legend. Okay, Smashville, let's see what you got. Actually, their regular season starts today. They play San Jose in Switzerland, I believe. Round one is complete. We've got the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. We're going up against the 23 cover boy here. And they are going to be deleted in seven games. We got the former Stanley Cup winning Edmonton Oilers here in the conference finals. Let's go, Saskatchewan. First three games, and wow. Okay. Can we sweep them? No, we cannot. Don't you dare end up losing this series, though. Don't allow the reverse sweep, I swear. There's no way. Thank you. Stanley Cup Finals bound. We got the Rangers. They are 12 and 6 in total. We are 12 and 7. Let's sim the first three games and see where that takes us. We are down 2-1. That's okay. We have a chance to push a best of three, and we succeed. Three games. Well, technically, whoever wins two games out of the next three, Stanley Cup champion. So it is a best of three for the cup. This is definitely more of a formal video, <laughs> not uh, your typical video. I am eating at the moment, kind of, because can't wait any longer. Truba going to score on Jari. Not a great start. We also give them a power play. Hate to see that. Let's go, Matt. Nate Mack. That's why we're paying you the big bucks. Can we hold on? That is the question. We are out shooting them pretty dramatically right now. And we do hold on. We only need one more game to win the Stanley Cup. That's outrageous. Three stars. Igor, 948. And Jari, a 964. What a signing that was. Yep, as I mentioned, we are one game away from a Stanley Cup championship. And the Rangers are two. Let's see if they push a game seven or if we take it home in six. Oh no. Oh yeah, let's go Lawson. Kravstov makes it 3-1. But Ekholm cuts it back down to a one goal game. Third period, we get a power play. Come on, we capitalize. Tom Wilson, let's go. 15 minutes, and we need a lead. The Rangers have a power play. We killed it off. There is currently... No! Lafreniere, are you kidding me? No way. Oh! Okay, jump in. Jump in. Look how intimidating that is. Nate Mack, Sean Carlson, and Connor Bedard all just sitting there, chilling with a couple abilities between the whole lot of them. Not gonna lie, seeing the jerseys here, kinda wish I made the pants black, but... We're beyond that now. I also just realized I was about to sign up to play. No, this is CPU versus CPU. So pretty much, we are one goal away from being Stanley Cup champions. Igor 95, same with Fox, holy. No way. Do we take a penalty? We did, didn't we? Oh, come on, Brady. Man's really said Stanley Cup who? Oh my word. No, no way that just happened. All right, Brady, you're gone. If you think I'm joking, you're dead wrong. Unless he makes up for it here. But instead, he almost loses it. Moser keeps it in. Takes a shot. Fox is able to get it, though. Put on some pressure here. Don't let them... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gonna score. All right, game set. Oh! 17 seconds. Nate Mack gets it to Connor. Back to Nate Mack! Oh, let's go! Let's go! He did make up for it. Never mind, you're staying. You are staying on this team. Brady took a chuck. You're not going anywhere. Guy ties up a game six with the Stanley Cup on the line. Minimal celebration. Gotta respect it. I'm not a big fan of the fact that half of the fans look like they're just in their birthday suit. Do it. Do it. Oh, Brady, he wanted it. Back to Moser. Takes a point shot. That actually almost went in. I also just noticed that Chitrin is a part of the New York Rangers. So that's where he went. I have no idea where Clayton Keller went. No. Yes, good defensive play. If I came in to watch all of this only for us to lose, I will be devastated. Which, I mean, kind of go... What was that, Moser? What a save, though. Our first line's been on literally the entire time, I think. Nice. Hayton picks it off. Shifley gets it, but loses it immediately. Soderstrom makes a pass over to Barrett. Cuts back. Good breakout. Soderstrom? Ooh, not the best shot in the world. Can't lie. Imagine if it's Matthew Savoie or Connor Bedard, someone like that. Gustavs that gets the goal. Your career at that point, can it even get any better? You just got a Stanley Cup winning goal. In your first or second season. The boys are buzzing. Matthew! Oh my word, he almost had it! Shifley! Shifley! Let's go! The boys are Stanley Cup champions! That was not a Stanley Cup winning goal. But we take that all day. Holy crap. What a U-turn from last season. We were, I think, I don't know what we were in the division. But we had maybe 30 wins or something like that. Low 30s. And now... 
We are your Stanley Cup champions. Wowzers. Sorry about that, Rangers. Sorry about your luck. But better luck next year. <laughs> 95 overall. Igor Shesterkin is going to let that one in. Not ideal. How do we go uphill from here? Can we? Nate Mack just won a cup and now he's getting another, but Connor Bedard is going to be the... Oh, never mind. He gets the Conn Smythe? How many points did this guy have? Now I need to go check. By the way, they did him dirty with that character model. That is horrendous. And here it is, the Stanley Cup. Let's go. Go pick it up. Oh yeah. Get that camera focus in there. Saskatchewan Rebels. Nate Mack going in. <laughs> he's number three. What the heck? I guess his number was taken anyway. Yeah, he just won another cup. And there's the celebration. Let's go. That is huge. All right. The boys have done it. The franchise noob has pulled it off. Gustav's got the cup second and he hands it off to whoever that is. Why did Shifley not get it? Guy just got the golden goal. Oh, Matt. He gets it next. Give it to Shifley. I want to see Shifley lift up Lord Stanley because he did get the goal, to be fair to him. We're giving it to Tristan Jari before Shifley. I mean, to be fair... He's probably a major part of the, of the fact that we did win the cup this year. So, yeah, we don't get to see... No way. We didn't get to see the man that got the golden goal lift the cup. That is disgusting. But what a photo. Fire me up. Let's get to next season, I guess. Oh, do we have contracts we have to worry about? I don't think so yet. There we have it, folks. Saskatchewan, your Stanley Cup champions. The Hershey Bears. Take home the Calder. Bedard had 29 points in 25 games, so fair play. He did earn it. Let's check out the rest of the player stats in the playoffs. We got 26 from Nate, 25 from Brady. He really redeemed himself in that game. Shifley with 24, Wilson 16. He was a dash 5, though. Yeah, I feel like we'll probably let him go once his contract is done, but he was definitely a great addition to the team. John Carlson reunited with Tom Wilson. He put up 14. Our roster is an absolute weapon. Even Carell, he did pretty good. He's up to 81 overall, 923, 301 for the short little bit that he had to go in, which seems like a lot. He had 26 shots against him whenever he had to go in. Jari, 909, 251. Solid. Three shutouts as well in the playoffs. Draft smaffed. Who cares? Philadelphia cares. They just got McConan. Mackinnon. 81 overall medium franchise, and we get medium elite center playmaker. Loktyanov goes to Montreal. Winnipeg, who won the cup last year, and now have the third pick, get a medium elite right wing playmaker by the name of Burkoff. Kiviharu will go to the Vancouver Canucks. Lovejoy to Chicago. We get the last pick, and I'm going to pick up Matt Sundin's son, Thomas Sundin, who is a defenseman, apparently. And potentially an enforcer, although I severely doubt it. Let's go ahead and draft him. What did he end up being? I gotta go all the way back to find out, don't I? He is a medium top four defensive defenseman, 76 overall. That's pretty solid. Jacob Kuba, right winger, potentially medium elite. Very, very unlikely though. Sure, why not? Let's take a shot at it. He is a... Medium top nine, two-way forward. Our coaching staff will remain. I don't know how many... Oh, wow. We still got them for a bit here. Okay, that's good. Um, Beijing, we will sign you back because the AHL team has been doing all right. I'll just give you pretty much what you're asking for. Uh, Vauclair as well. You will get a contract. And so will Sierra? Sierra? Sarah? Something like that? Oh, we have to re-sign Shifley. We do have 33 million left, and Soderstrom is up to an 85 overall. All right, how much do you want? Okay, well then. Soderstrom only wants 4.6 for six years, and he wants to re-sign. I'm going to give him 4.5 for the six. Hopefully he says yes to that. Tom Wilson doesn't want an extension, which is perfect. I'm going to let him go anyway. Moser, we will go ahead and offer you a contract, because you were our first defenseman. Well... I guess our first left defenseman that actually had a good chemistry with John Carlson. I didn't even notice, but Sundin also has two abilities. That is a steal for when we got him in the draft. Yeah, I think I'm going to give up on these goalies. They don't really seem to be going up. So I will sign medium elite boy and he will be our new backup. I might just let Holt and Whitmore walk. Medium fringe. And we have that right here. He's 25, 77. But I'm more concerned about this guy, and I don't want to just sit them, you know? All right, fine. I'm going to sit the other guy, because he doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so 
Prosvitov, you're gone. We still have $24 million left, so we can get Shifley. He's gonna have to go at some point, obviously, because Matt and Connor are gonna want a pretty penny, and Barrett Hayton is gonna want a little bit as well. Shifley doesn't even want an extension. The man just won the cup with us, got the golden goal, he doesn't even want an extension. I'm gonna offer him 11, but truthfully, if he says no, might just let him walk. Never mind, he signed. Also, the coaches all just told me to GTFO, basically. We're definitely gonna have to make a trade either this year or next year that's gonna be big. Shifley will be involved. Oh yeah, we also have Gustavs here, so if we offer him a contract extension, he wants seven. Barrett Hayton wants 4.5, that's not bad at all. At 87 overall, I'm just gonna offer you that right now. Surprisingly, we have $13 million in cap space. I don't know how that happened. So, maybe I'll just give Gustavs his contract now as well, because he does want an extension. So I'll try to give him 7.15 for four years. Barrett Hayton said yes, and so did Gustavs. We have a problem. We're too good. We're actually too good. Ekholm's really dropping off though. He's down to an 83, but Soderstrom's making up for it by jumping up to an 85. Sorry, Arvi. And Nemeth get a plus two, still a plus two here. So yeah, it's basically two, three, two again. Offensively, we get three, five, oh, oh. In net, we have Jari who somehow went down in overall after winning the Stanley Cup, but okay. I'm gonna play Sundin on the second pair. He's already 76, so yeah, that's good. Our offense, wow, I need to sign more people. What the heck happened? And Coronar, I'm sorry, but you're gone. We're bringing in, is it Thornton? No. Wait, hold on. I have to send down Chason and Cassian. Capo Caco still sitting here. He is in RFA. Yeah, there's a lot of RFAs still. Cody Glass only wants 1.8 at 83 overall. However, I am looking for two-way contracts. Hello? 80 overall? Yes, please. Finding a bunch of players here that want two-way contracts. It's gonna be a sick AHL team. There we go. That's more like it. Miko Rantanen? Just kidding. Okay, we'll have Burnett. Yeah, that makes sense as the backup. Medium elite potential, hopefully he will go up, especially considering our AHL team appears to be pretty solid. All right, allow us to obtain this wheat. Let's get the season going. Well, 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 if it isn't another player that we tried to get once upon a time. Not from this team, but no, I don't think so. Or wait, was it from Chicago? No, I don't think so. You're trying to take Sundin from us now. Uh-uh. This has potential to be a President's Trophy winning season. We would be an absolute dynasty if we go on to win the president's trophy in a back-to-back -back cup once again not interested in the trade deadline we're going to continue fourth nope keep the current block and i will be continuing i have follow headed to columbus in exchange for a first a third and jansen roy and a second for you see what i see soros holy crap this is the first time i think i've seen three trade alerts but they finally got rid of taves in exchange for silverberg a first and a second a fourth Oh my word, Shane Wright traded from LA to Winnipeg for two firsts and that guy. And Eric Johnson being placed on waivers. What is going on? I'm not going to claim him. He's 80 overall to a... Well, I don't really want to mess with our defensive chemistry. It's doing all right the way it is, so I'm going to decline. The boys are buzzing. Post-trade deadline, we have yet to lose a game. 47 Ws. We lose to Winnipeg in overtime. I guess Shane Wright probably did us dirty there. We have the President's Trophy. We'd have to lose every single game to not get it. Yeah, we got it for sure. Holy, what a season. Tucson did pretty good. 45, 26, and 11. Let's just check out the stats for them out of curiosity. Kirk, he had a nice amount of points. He's 79 overall. Let's go. Jaden Burnett went 12, 7, and 0. He had four shutouts and a 9, 10. He's up to 71 overall already. Sundin was a plus 28, 24 points, 77 overall. Shifley led the team with 86 points. How did Nate Mack only get 79? Anyway, Carlson had 80. That's gotta be... No, there's no way he didn't get whatever that defensive trophy is. I can't even think of the name right now. He for sure led defenseman with 80. Well, Kale McCarb could actually probably get more than a point a game, but we'll see. I'm gonna go check it out. Connor Bedard, 92 overall, 83 points. Kachuk with 74 points. Mack gets 58, 89 overall. Genther, 87, 51 points. Gustav's got 50 points. And he is 86 overall. Josh Doan up to 82. Jari did amazing. 44 wins, 6 shutouts, a 9-11 save percentage, 258 GAA. Carell did quite well again. I think his contract is running up this year. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll re-sign him. We'll see. Kirill the Thrill led the league though. He had 112 points. And Tino Mans, he is a 99 overall. No wonder Minnesota's doing so good. 
I forgot about this guy. Wow. All right. Well, congrats to them for having him. That sure makes things interesting. He got 53 points whenever he played in the ice hockey league or whatever. And then Minnesota's first year, he was point a game. And then 92, 111, he's escalating. Carlson did lead defenseman. He only had four goals, which, I mean, Kale had 23. That's crazy, but still led with 80 points. Campbell actually led the league for wins. He had 46 Ws on the year. Did I check whether or not we won the President's Trophy or did I go straight to player stats? Because maybe Edmonton still beat us out somehow. The entire league. Nope. We are right there. 119. Fire me up. We're better than the Minnesota Wild that have a 99 overall player. Round one, St. Louis Blues. Will we have a blunder and go out in the first? No, we will not. In fact, we will bring out the brooms. Oh boy. We got Minnesota in round two. They are our biggest threat and we are making light work of them. They do manage to take one. Can they push another? They do. Will they push a game seven? No, they don't. I was actually scared. Conference finals, we got the Seattle crack in here. Who beat us? No, no way that just happened. And they lose to Columbus in the Stanley Cup finals. The Belleville Senators are your Calder Cup champions. I think that was year four, right? I believe so. Yeah, probably do maybe two more, see what happens and try to set them up and leave it for the next guy. Also, is it possible in this game for players to gain abilities just from playing or nah? Pick number 30, I did absolutely nothing for scouting this year because to be honest, just can't be bothered, we're too good. So I'm just gonna take Weston Battaglia. Yeah, he is a right winger for the Kingston Frontenacs, medium top nine. Whatever, it is what it is. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll hire scouts this year. John Carlson had the most playoff points, 16 in 17 games. He's probably getting kind of old now though, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, this is scary. We have Genther, Matt, and Bedard coming up. Same with John Carlson, but he'll probably take a bit of a pay cut, I'm thinking. Not dramatically though. Ekholm also coming up, but that will free up a lot of space for us considering he's 83 overall, 35, and making 6.1 million. We also have Doan. Oh no. Carell does want an extension. He's 80 overall. Oh, oh my word. He wants a two-way contract. Yes, sir. I might even bring up Burnett just to play in the NHL next year. Yeah, I think in the next two years, I should be able to sort out this cap and then, you know, be able to hand it off to whoever the next GM would be. But we have built a solid foundation here. I felt I could make the impact in the NHL. You're the one that wanted that contract. What are you on about? Carell, I'm sorry. You've done well. You won a cup with us, but it's time that we go our separate ways. Connor Bedard contract extension. He wants 10 million. He is interested in an extension, which is nice, but yeah, we have quite the pickle here. We only have $22 million of extension remaining. John Carlson wants 9.5 as if that's not going to happen. We might be able to get Matt for three years at 7.25. Bedard and Savoie both re-signed. Perfect. Genther wants 8.8 .8 and all we have left is seven million dollars. That's not good. Someone's got to go. Sorry, RV wants 2.4. 81 overall. He's 28. Yeah, might part ways with him as well. Namath, he wants an extension. I can give you one mil. That's fair, but hmm. I don't know, we could probably get a better defenseman. Surprisingly, our only issue is going to be Genther. So it might finally be time to get rid of Shifley. And I'm thinking because our offense is so stacked, we could probably trade him for a defenseman that will replace Carlson. The only thing is we're still gonna have cap issues unless I trade for a defenseman that is just simply not, not nearly as good as I would like to. Drysdale would be perfect, making 4.9 for four more years. And he's a right-handed defenseman, 90 overall. Will this go through one for one? It might. And it does. Okay, they are gassed about it. I'm down. John, I wasn't kidding when I said you're being replaced. I'm gonna try sending you to Dallas in exchange for a first and a second, and they accept it. With that, we now have 13 million extension dollars left, and I will sign Genther at 8.5. Let's do it. I'm not gonna bother looking at free agency because truthfully, we just cannot. We actually had zero scouts. That's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Why do these take so long? It's like the biggest gap in between them. I've never seen that. I guess it's only for scouts maybe. Or do coaches do that too? Truthfully, our scouts aren't very good, but they are scouts. We're gonna be losing Ekholm next year, but maybe Sundin will be ready by then. In fact, I think he probably will. Jari dropped again. He has three years left at 6.1 and he's at 84, which I don't understand why. He's doing well. Our first line 
one should be illegal. We have Connor, Nate, Mac, and Brady. And then we got Gustavs playing with Matt and Dylan. Third line will be Lawson, Barrett, and Josh. And then our fourth line, we've got Carl, Garrett, and Axel. I don't know why I called them all by their first name, but it's kind of fun to switch it up, you know? Defensively, Moser still going to be playing with a 90 overall. Well, I guess 90 plus because Carlson... Anyway, he dropped to 90, but he's going to be playing with Drysdale. They get a plus one. Ekholm down to 81 is going to be playing with 85 Soderstrom. And then Vili will be playing with Logan. In net, we've got Jari. And they want this guy, but no, I'm not going to allow that. I'm calling up Jaden. He is going to be the AHL backup. Will it be too early for him? Possibly. 73 overall backup. Not too shabby. Our AHL team looks good enough. Kirk, yeah, you can stay there. I'm not too worried. I don't think he's going to get much better, to be honest with you. Uh, Rick Paco, though. 20 years of age, 74, medium top six. He might. Defensively, Sundin is 78 overall. He's definitely going to be ready next year, 100%. And I will play him here, I suppose. And then we've got Coronar and Anson Thornton. AHL medium starter potential. Great. I might bring in Saunders. He's 21, 65 overall, maybe. Hmm, to be our AHL goalie. I want to try to find someone that could grow. Look at this guy. You know what, Holm? Welcome aboard. Yep, you're being signed immediately. And that is a steal. I kind of feel bad for Coronar. He basically just got sent from being the NHL backup to being the AHL backup. Without further ado, let's get the season started again. And on that note, I am going to go refill my water. Uh, what's going on here? Why are we not good? We're actually bad. Hello? Okay, phew. Went on a decent winning streak there, which kind of redeemed our squad. Still not interested in the trade deadline, though. I think I'm going to skip. I've changed my mind. I want to see if there's any goalies. John Carlson's on the block, and so is Jake Ottinger, but 7 million? No, I don't think so. Carter Hart. He's got one year left at five. Yeah, he's going to want a lot more. Uh, mm, no. There's a lot of good goalies here, but they all just want too much. Apparently, we want to get rid of Tristan Jari. Don't know about all that. In fact, yeah, there's not much we can really do here. Like, we could trade for Dan, but I don't think that's going to do much for us. All right. On second thought, I'm out of here. No blockbuster trades popped up. Kind of shocking. Definitely playoff bound. We're not going to win the President's Trophy this year, but we did pull it back quite decently. Minnesota's not going to be an easy first round opponent. 53 wins this year. They have Tino Mans on their squad. So we are in a world of trouble. The Jets won our division. We finished third. We ended up getting 100 points. So that should be still solid. In the league, we finished... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Ninth. Still good, but... Nothing crazy. Minnesota finished second. Winnipeg gets the... I meant to... I was almost going to say the Art Ross, but nope, that is incorrect. It is the Presidents. Oh yeah, they got that Burkoff guy. That's right. And he was a franchise player, if I remember correctly. And they also got Shane Wright, who's third line center behind Perfetti and Dubois. What happened there? Bedard led the team. We did not have a single point of game player. What is up with all of that. Drysdale got 40 points. Burnett actually did well. He went 14-6-2 with a shutout, 927-218. Jari did pretty good. He is 74 overall, so he's getting there slowly. Art Ross goes to the only 100-point getter, Connor McDavid, and the Rocket Rich Well then. <laughs> 71 goals! Let's chill. Ilya Samsonov led the league with 43 wins. Spencer Knight's right there. What's he at? 88 overall. Lukonen got a 918. He's at 90 overall goalie. Jeez. Wallstedt, 89. Daniil Tarasov, 86 overall. Sogard, 85 overall. Caden Primo, he is an 86. In case anyone's curious, I will show the awards after this playoffs. And then you could see like the previous winners as well. Because I think we're on year, what, five? So it should show all of them, I think. Will we get dusted in the first round? We are currently up. Oh, we win. We just win. That's wild. The President's Trophy winning Winnipeg Jets. And we are up two. Oh, yeah. We make it to the conference finals against the Edmonton Oilers. Fire me vertical. Our AHL team also slaying, and we get another devastating conference finals exit. The Buffalo Sabres go on to win the Stanley Cup. Belleville gets the Calder. Oh my word. That Dallas pick we got is actually sick. We're sixth. Good thing I finally hired scouts. You know what I'm saying? Chicago gets Weller. Joe Weller. Medium elite. Oh no. We're already at medium top sick. It's <laughs> medium top sick. Yeah. That makes sense. Ooh. So we're guaranteed a medium elite in Dominic, who likely has... Yeah, he has an X-Factor. Okay, I know what I'm doing. He's a right defenseman as well. We need defensemen. 
We could take Ott, but I think it would be tragic to not take Sogkiss. That was... I tried. I truly did. But anyway, let's go ahead and draft him. What a selection. Thank you, Dallas. And then with our pick, we could take Sagan, a medium top six defender, or we could get Ritsky with it and see... Uh-huh. Yep, that's a goalie. 37. Gem. Haynes. Sign him up immediately. Are you kidding me? Guys, I've defeated franchise mode. I've beat it. It's over. It's actually done. Harding will pick you up. Medium top six, power forward. He's got an X factor and an ability. Let's get real. Are you kidding me? One of our coaches is expiring. Might let him go. Might let him walk and see if there's anyone better. But you know what? They've been doing good. Should I just keep him? I'm going to try keeping him. I think our scouts are still kind of locked in here. We have... Yeah, at least one year left on all of them, so we're okay for now. Gustav's led the team with 19 points in 17 playoff games. We're gonna go through the awards here. Tino Man's probably cleaning up. Actually, no, because he didn't even win the Rocket Richard or the Art Ross. Interesting. Well, anyway, here's the team awards over the last couple years. Saskatchewan Rebels, love to see that. Also there in 23-24. And the Clarence S. Campbell, Prince of Wales. All right, individual, we've got McDavid. And Tino Mans has not won this once. Holy. The heart goes to Matthews. There you have it. Boakfist will take home the Norris. And we have the Lady Bing going to Huberto. Tino Mans won the Calder in 22-23. Bedard won it in 23-24. And yeah, the Burkoff guy was a first liner immediately. Alex Tuck gonna get the Con Smythe. That is crazy. Good for him. Sogard gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Alexiak with the Bill Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Duchens. Selkie goes to McDavid. Interesting. Matthews with the Lindsay. And Matthews has won the Rocket Richard for his fourth straight year. Do we have any contracts to worry about? Barrett Hayton is making 4.7. He's coming up this year. But we have 5.8. And that 4.7, you know, he'd basically have to go up to like 9 mil for us to lose out fully on that. But we do have to sign Doan, which could be concerning. No, it is not. What an absolute legend. You're going to be a career, <laughs> a career third liner. Ekholm only wants 1.8, which is kind of tempting because he has three abilities. I think I'm going to do it. He does want an extension. Yeah, let's go for it. I'll give you a 1.65 and that'll be a one-year deal. You could be on the final pair. Sorry, RV does not want a contract with us, but... I'll try offering him 2.6. If he says no, we'll let him walk. Was this the defenseman we just drafted? No, I think this was another defenseman we drafted. Was it this guy? 76? Maybe. I'm losing track. I think it was Dominic. He's getting a contract immediately. Holm is still 80 overall. Coronar needs a contract extension. So does Burnett. This is gonna be a good time to sign him. But you know what? We have 74, 72. You're gone, Jackie Moon. I'm gonna reject this at dollar value. I think it may be time to go our separate ways. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, I think we should get everyone else because normally I think they group the rejecteds and the accepteds. Because it's only a one-year deal, I'm going to offer him two. Yeah, there you go. Oh, now it's an easy decision, eh? Money talks. I once again have zero interest in free agency, but I will show you who's available regardless. We have, wow, Pedersen's here. 91 overall. Same with Clayton Keller. I wonder where he's been. Let's find out. Where have you been playing, Clay? Oh, he's been all over the map. Never mind, this doesn't count. He's basically been between Winnipeg and St. Louis. Raymond is here, but I'm assuming he's restricted. Yep, and then Marchand, the Conn Smythe winning. Alex Tuck, 89 overall. Nolan Patrick, there's quite a few players down here. Ovi, <laughs> 85 overall, wants 5.7. Let's check out goalies. Who's available there? Carter Hart and Jake Ottinger, both of them. Are they, they're both UFAs as well. Holy that's your Demco? I'm trying to think, can I make this work? What would we have to get rid of? Actually, no. We have two medium elite goalies in the system, so never mind. Something here is not clicking. Ooh, Carl. That's a problem. Giovanni Smith makes it a zero. Welcome to the starting lineup. We also have Sergey here, who's an 80 overall defenseman at 22. So he's gonna be ready soon. Sundin 79. He's listed as a minor top four. What are you listed as? He's listed as a depth defenseman. Okay, so we'll keep them in the AHL for now, maybe? Medium top four. No abilities or anything, though. Actually, let's go to defenseman specifically. Nope, not quite. There we go. Sundin. He's also top four. He's got two abilities. Sergey. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to call up Sundin. I'm going to do it. He's going to play in the NHL this year, assuming he doesn't make the chemistry awful. 
Let's find out first. Nope, still a plus one. And it's only a one overall decrease. So you're playing there. So here's our offense. We got Genther, McKinnon, and Kachuk. Then we've got Gustavs playing with Savoy and Bedard. Uh, Doan with Hayton and Kraus. Smith, Olafson, and Garrett. Yeah, it's probably, it could be Pillin, Pylon. I don't know. Defensively, this guy seems to be hard stuck at 84, but that's okay. He's playing with Jamie. And then we've got Ekholm and Soderstrom. Just out of curiosity. Okay, never mind. Uh, and then sorry, RV Sundin. Jari's all the way down to an 83. What the heck happened? Jaden's listed as a minor backup. Okay, I'll play him in the HL this year. Fine. We also have this guy. Wow. We have a lot of good prospects here. And it's kind of scary. So this will be our AHL team. Fourth line, not great, but they get a plus two. So can't be that bad. You know what I'm saying? Defense looks like this. Move those two prospect guys up. And I'm going to keep the goalie here. I guess Grossman can play. I don't know. Sure, why not? That just means that the other goalie's probably going to get a lot of starts. Barrett Hayton, here we go. He's making 4.7. Oh? Wait. Yeah, we have 10 million extension. What the heck? Guy's taking a hometown discount. What an icon. Yes, please. I'll be taking that contract. Wow. All right. There you go. Five years. We are set. Lawson Krause currently making a total of 4.5 million. He's coming up as well. Oh my word. <laughs> Sir. Okay. No way. All right, four years at 1.8. You got yourself a deal. For those of you out there saying, you know, oh, you could have offered him less. Yeah, I know. I know I could have, but I didn't. Lawson accepted. And if we advance another day, so did Barrett. So the only thing we kind of have to worry about is our goalie. 83 overall. Not ideal. But we could make something happen if we have to. We'll see. Trade deadline could come in clutch. How long have I been recording for? It's probably not crazy long. Three hours, almost exactly. Jeez. Well, I guess it is a marathon for a reason. But we suck. Holy smokes, what a pathetic start to the season. In general, it's going to be a good year for rookies. Well, that's unfortunate because we're not going to have the chance to pick up any of them. Or maybe we will, because we kind of suck. I don't even think I can blame Jari here. Like, I mean, I could. You know, I could point the finger and just say, goaltending, we need to improve. But I feel like there's something else going on here. My only concern is I don't want to commit to a goalie because we do have two medium elite goalies, you know? So, like, yeah, we're struggling now, but I don't know. I think we should sort of put a band-aid on it for now and maybe pick up a better goalie. Because there's no way this team should not be making the playoffs. What is going on? Yeah, let's see if there's any goalies on like one-year contracts. Let's be a conservative buyer. Enter the trade deadline. See how he's doing, actually. We could check out his stats quick. But we got you see what I see, Soros. 89 overall, one year. He might be what we need. Shifley on his final <laughs> year of that $11 million contract. Neil Pionk. They want Haynes. And they want Burnett. But you shall not get them. I will send you back a goalie. So, you know, not leaving you fully out to dry here. Roger Harding. Forgot about that guy. Jari, a second and a third from next year for Saros. We might only use him for one year. But, ooh, okay. They said no. What about two seconds? I'm still willing to do it. I don't care. Our team's so good. We don't even need to draft. Okay, there we have it. New goalie. Best lines has given me something new. We get a plus three with Bedard, McKinnon, and Genther. But then Kachuk, Jazz, and Savoy get a plus five. Doan, Hayton, and Kraus with a plus one. Defensively, Sundin's still 79. That's a bit upsetting. Heckholm's down to 80. Oh no. Goalies, we got you see what I see. Yeah, that's a big improvement. And our medium elite, no, sorry, yes. Medium elite goalie is up to 78 overall. We will have some defensemen ready to replace Ekholm next year. I don't know if they'll be as good, but we can try it. And you see what I see Saros coming in hot. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Are we ever going to lose a game? What's going on here? This is the maybe actually the best trade deadline, post trade deadline I've ever seen. And then we go and lose three in a row, but it doesn't even matter. We're still on fire. Oh no, we lost a lot of games there at the end. Actually, we still made it in. And we are up against the Minnesota Wild, what feels like, again, seems like we play them a lot. We finished third in the division, 92 points, which is okay, not great. Whoa, the seventh placed Boston Bruins did not make it. That is outrageous. I have never seen something like that. How low do we go? Okay, so we only go to 18, but 
A team in seventh didn't make the playoffs. Can you imagine that? We finished 16th and made it in. Connor put up 85 points. Matt put up 79. He is a 91 overall. Nate Max, 76. Gustav's put up 73. Kachuk only put up 55. I don't know what's going on there. Drysdale put up 53. Let's go. Genther, 51. Doan, 50. Barrett Hayden put up 47, so he's still doing well. Soderstrom, doing well as well. 32 points. Sundin was somehow a dash 12. Don't know how that happened. And he's still 79 overall. Not a fan of that. Maybe he is not ready. Holm got lit up. 890 save percentage, 330 JA, so possibly part of the problem. And Saros went 31, 22, and 6, two shutouts, 918, 216. Spencer Knight led the league, 50 dubs. Wow, he was up by 5 on Mads, and he had a 923 save percentage, 236 JA. These two are insane. Whoa, 89 overall. Luke Conan had a 923 as well, 90 overall. Kale McCarr led defenseman with 77. Sergachev was the next closest, along with Hughes getting 66. William Eklund is going to take home the Art Ross 98 points. How many goals did Matthews get this year? 53. He tied with Line A, so they're sharing it. Will we get the better of Minnesota again? I feel like odds are not in our favor here. We've bested them too many times. Okay. That poor team. This is what it feels like to be on the other side. Normally, I'm the one getting dusted in the first round. Will we make it? Oh my word, come down to game seven and we take a dub. Conference finals against the Vancouver Canucks. Let's go ahead and simulate. Oh yeah, Stanley Cup finals against the Ottawa Senators. Don't mind if I do. Let's sim the first three games because no one can take home the Stanley Cup in that time. Okay, 2-1. Can we make it a best of three? No, we cannot. Uh-oh. Come on, there'd be no better way to go out than on... Oh my goodness, I forgot they had Sogard in net. That guy is insane. I do kind of want to see what that goalie turns out to be, but... You know? It's already been kind of a marathon here. So I feel like you could do that infinitely. You could draft another medium elite player this year and kind of be like, Hmm, wonder what's gonna happen. Ottawa is one win away from a Stanley Cup. Come on. Oh my word, that's two power plays we weren't able to score on. I think we're done here. Oh my goodness! Jass, you legend. Let's go. We're still down bad though. We have to push a game seven here. So we have to win two more in a row. And if we win, or sorry, lose either of them, it's GG no re. All right, pull. I see you. Power play goal. Pull with the goal. Marcus Felino. Oh no. What happened? Connor got one. So we're only down by two heading into the second. It's doable. I don't know what happened with this Mads character, but he's apparently the best goalie in the world. Ah, uh, looks like we're done. Yeah, you know what? I'm- Ooh, okay. Bedard, I was just gonna simulate the rest of the period. We have a five on three, not able to capitalize. We don't deserve to win. Oh, we might though. Giovanni Smith, the legend, added him last second. Come on, we need one more goal or Ottawa's gonna be the Stanley Cup champions. So close. Stockton Heat win the Calder Cup. I'm only gonna do our first round pick and then after that, I will go on to Hello. I severely doubt he's low franchise, but I'm still tempted to risk it. Andrew Weston, let's see what happens here. No shot. Well, low elite, not awful. Brady Kachuk led the boys 24 points in the playoffs. Do we have any contracts to worry about? Kachuk is coming up at 8.5, so he's gonna want a boost. We have $15 million of cap space though. Olafson wants an extension. He's 82 overall. Okay. Yeah, we can do 2.1 for 82 overall. In fact, I'm gonna give you two. And if you say no, then might be a see you later. I've signed Haynes and Holm is there. Saros, his contract was up. He doesn't want an extension and he wants 9.5. So we are in a predicament when it comes to goalies. We also have this guy I forgot about. Medium elite, 80 overall. He's probably gonna be on the roster this year. Unfortunately, Saros has walked, but maybe we'll find a goalie in the meantime. DiPietro, Logan Thompson, both of them only want one year, which is very ideal for us. Spencer Knight's hitting the free agent market, but he is a restricted free agent. Jacob Chitrin is here. Chikrin, I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two, but yeah, he's been playing for the Rangers. Sydney the Kidney at 39. Wow. And he's 82 overall, still looking for 9.2 million. What a legend. DiPietro will be a very temporary solution. And also signing some two-way players there. I appreciate, oh my word, are you serious? Thompson's still here. He's 83 overall. Whoa, Merzlikens is 85 overall? And he wants $1 million. Okay, yeah, I will bump that up, especially because it's a one-year deal to 1 1.5. Please sign. And he does. We take that. He might drop an overall, but 
It is what it is. Boston gets Rathbone in a third in exchange for Johansson and a fifth. I'm assuming Brady Kachuk is going to want a contract raise, but it might be around the same. It's hard to say. There's Dominic. 82 overall. He's got the X-Factor 3 abilities. And then we got Sergey over here on the left side. Yeah, our defense looks different this year. That's for sure. Actually, I might want to... Mm, no, I don't want to risk that. Okay, we'll keep the plus one. The plus two and the zero. Offensively, we have Kachuk, McKinnon, and Matt. Kachuk, or sorry, not Kachuk. He's still young. Nate Max kind of getting old, though. He's 32, so yeah, that could be an issue. But I think we'll still be okay for a couple more years. And I am going to leave that up to the next guy. But I will try to sign Brady Kachuk to a new contract, at least. And in net, we've got... Yeah, he's 83. Oh, boy. That didn't work out. Burnett will actually be the backup. He's 81 overall. Medium Elite, he's listed as a backup goalie. So is Merzlikens, which is unfortunate, but hopefully they make it work. We have an 88 overall as our third line center, Doan 85. We're just good. We really are. Defensively, yeah. I mean, it's looked better, but I still think we're very solid. I don't know why Moser is just not getting any better. It's pretty whack. But anyway, view contracts. Let's see if we can re-sign Kachuk. He was making 8.5. He's now 90 overall. He wants... Oh, we have a lot of extension dollars and he wants less. 725 for five years. We'll go ahead and give you that. Is there some other contract coming up? Moser, he's making 4.8. And he wants six. I don't know about all that, Chief. Rizlikens is just that one-year deal, so... Yeah, we have three years on Burnett with this 925 contract, which is outrageous. Nikita Tarasov. I think I drafted that guy. Not sure. Anyway, he's moving up. He'll be on the first line. Paco, I definitely drafted this guy. Don't know why he is not growing, but doesn't appear to be. Whatever. Um, yeah, we'll move him up here. Defensively, Sundin. I feel like he's better suited in the AHL for now. We'll be playing with Vili. And then this is the rest of our defense. In net, we will have Holm backed up by Haynes. He's listed as a minor backup. He's got the three abilities. He is a medium elite. So yeah, it's going to be a big year for him as well. Let's get to it. This will be the last season, for sure. I'm not going another one after this. We are done. And Kachuk resigned, so I'm leaving the GM in a good spot. All right, but like, how are we bad? Someone riddle me that. Freestyle it for me, actually. We've managed to partially pull it back, but our division seems to be very scary this year. And... Well then, Taves. I was actually just about to say, I think we need a new left-handed defenseman. But I don't want to give up our goalie, per se. So I'm going to reject that. But I will be looking for a left-handed defenseman in the near future. Probably right now, actually. Let's go do it. Screw the trade deadline. Edvinson, $6 million, three years left. He is a top four defenseman, three abilities. Left-handed. And we'd be giving up Moser plus a first. I don't think they're going to accept this, but we'll try it. All right. We need to find someone that wants the first. This guy's a right-handed defenseman, but he's 90 overall. 6.1 million. I don't think this will go through either. Propose it? No. So, you know what? Actually, I might just wait out this year, wait till free agency, and let Moser go. That's probably what I'm going to do. AKA, it's the next GM's problem. <laughs> Our division's really good. This is scary. We might not make the playoffs for the first time in a while here. Well, well, well. We have a left-handed defenseman in Quinn Hughes. Can we afford him? Probably not. Apparently we can. I'm going to try something outrageous here. I'm going to try getting rid of Roger Harding in two first. This isn't even close in value still, but I'm going to give it a shot. No. All right. Yeah. It's going to be impossible to get that guy. We could try to get Rathbone. He is an 86 overall defenseman with two abilities. And then we have Moser here, who is... Making 4.8, so he's actually making more, but yeah, they both want contracts after this year, obviously. Give up a second on top of it. We're going up three overall and an ability. Both left-handed defensemen. The value seems fair, but they don't want Moser. We'll try it, though. Rejected. Okay. What if I sweeten it a little bit? I'll give you a fourth as well. Propose. And they still reject it. Now that, a little bit surprised about. Second and a third. No? All right, I'm definitely waiting for free agency. Taves went to Carolina with two fourths in exchange for Seth Jarvis and a third. Anthony Mantha's being sent down. He's, oh, he's 80 overall. Okay, yeah. And he's making 5.1. Oh boy. Yeah, it really does look like we're going to be playoff list for the first time in a while here. The division is just too good. It really is. I mean, we're not doing that great. Also, that doesn't help. And we failed to qualify. Look at that. We only had 39 wins this year. 87 points. 
which is sixth in the central division. Yucky. Connor put up 87 points. We got 80 from Nate and then 63 from Matt. Genther put up 57, 56 from Barrett Hayton, who's still 88 overall. Drysdale, 91 overall, puts up 54. Whoa, this guy fell off hard. Jaden is still not going up in overall and he got lit up. 868. Whereas Leakins did okay, so we kind of need a goalie too. Holy crap, we are not in a good situation really. Sorry. Leaving the new GM in a bad spot, kind of. I will, however, make some signings for the new GM. Get that out of the way and give them what I think will be a team ready to do better next year. The Pity Pens take home the Stanley Cup. All right, actually, I'm not even going to bother with the draft. I'll just let them do their thing. But yeah, it's going to be left up to the next GM whether or not they want to try trading away Nate Mack. He is getting up there in age. He's 33, 34, I think now. Drysdale's coming up. Matt's coming up again. And Jass is also coming up. He's 88 overall here, so that's weird. Uh, Moser, I am going to go ahead and get you out of my face immediately. This guy seems to be doing okay. I can give you 2 million, sure. Why not? Because we have $23 million of cap space. I don't know how that happened, but here we are. I will sign Roger now. He's only 68 overall, but he does have that X Factor and ability, so hopefully... He will be growing this year. I love that Haynes is the goalie slash goalie. That's good to know. Seth Yarvis is here, but we need a left-handed defense. Are you kidding me? Is he really the best? Nope. Ty Smith, 6.6 .6 million, wants about the same. And he's two overall better. So obviously I'm going to go with him. But there are three teams interested, so this could be tricky. We got Nico Dawes, so that'll be the starting slash backup goalie. And we got Ty Smith, so... Yeah, I think I'm leaving them in a pretty good spot. We're just about to hit the four hour mark. So I will be ending it this year, no matter what. Like that was our last simulation. I just want to see what the lineup looks like. Okay, here's where we're leaving it for the next GM. We got Genther, McKinnon, and Kachuk, Hayton, Savoie, and Bedard, and then Doan. I don't know what happened to Gustavs, but he just absolutely fell off a cliff. He'll be playing with Lawson as well. And then our fourth line there. Defensively, we got Smith and Drysdale, so that should boost the first pair. Soderstrom and Korobov, that's not great. And Sergey, 80 overall, playing with the absolute legend, Dominic. But, I mean, yeah, we do need some left-handed defensemen here. They might work. Nico Dawes will be the starting goalie. Burnett backing him up. And in the AHL, we have Haynes, who is somehow growing faster than this guy. But also, he does have three abilities, so... Kind of checks out. He's a minor starting goalie, so it's perfect for him. They could beef up the AHL team if they wanted to, or they could just kind of leave it. It's going to be good as it is. Sundin is now up to an 81. So you know what? I'm actually going to call him up. There you go. Sundin playing with Soderstrom gets a plus two. So that works. And then we've got these two. Yeah, it's a good team. It is a good team that I am leaving this GM with. I'm not upset about it. I think there is actually cap space as well. So if they wanted to try and get a goalie, they could do that. I just didn't want to do that because I'm betting on the medium elite. But yeah, we have $16 million of cap space. So there is stuff to work with here. I'll try to get Jamie back. He was making 5.2. He wants basically double. And he does want an extension. But yeah, I guess that kind of ruins the whole goalie situation, doesn't it? Savoie also wants nine. So that is very unfortunate. I'll try to sign these deals. And that is where we will call it. So there you go. And number two, Doan wants a new contract as well. Give him two point whatever he wants. And oh no, we might be in trouble here actually. Sorry, GM mans. Oh, never mind. Still 17 million extension dollars remaining. So you can basically give him like 6.85. That works. Olafson is making two. He wants less. So that's a bonus. Go ahead, give him that. This defenseman's making 800k. Wants 1.6, you can afford that. We got Sergey, and if we keep advancing, we should also be obtaining, well, yeah, Olafson and Gustav. So there you go. All right, that's where we're gonna leave it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If anyone actually made it to this point, you're a legend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in NHL 23. Thank you again for all the support throughout NHL 22.